In today's video, I'll be showing you how to pixelate an image or blur an image using paint. So as you can see, I've got an image there of myself and I want to blur out my face. This is one of the fastest ways that you can blur or pixelate an image in Windows without having to download a third party program or app. So the first thing that you need to do is just open up the image that you want to blur something out on. Once you have opened the image, you then need to hold down control and use the wheel on your mouse to zoom into the area that you want to blur. So you can see there that I'm focused on my face area. The next thing that you need to do is click on select. So there are two different options. You've got the rectangular selection or the freefall. So for this video, I'm just going to use the rectangular selection. But if you want to do a better pixelation job on something, then you can use the freeform and very carefully go around the area that you want to blur. So I'm just going to simply now drag over my face like that. So you can now see that I've selected my face area. The next thing that you need to do is hover on one of the corners and then drag the selection up so it's then small, like you can see I've done there. You then need to drag it back again, but do not click off. And then once you have aligned it, so you can see there I've aligned the selection, then let go. And you can now see that I have blurred out my face. It has got a slight line there, which I accidentally didn't keep that aligned. So I can just drag that up ever so slightly. There we go. So that's how you can blur out an image in paint. You can also make it even more blurry. So if I was then to select this area again, and if I drag it so it's really, really small like that, and if I now drag the image out again, you can now see that my face is even more blurred. So I hope this video has helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.